Good morning, Sunset. How are you guys doing today? It's Thursday um, here in Dumas Demon Land. I love this sweatshirt. I love this uh, logo. So I want to say welcome to everybody. And guess what we're going to do today? We're going to look at all the instruments. Well, some of the instruments that I have spread out in my room, you guys have seen it. Some of them, I, you know, I had, I had to put them up because you guys walk by and you just want to touch everything. And so I'm going to play for you. I'm going to play a little bit on the recorder, play a little bit on the kazoo. You know, I'm going to show you some other instruments. And, and first, you know, our first thing I think that we guys, we talked about a metronome. What a metronome, it does keep count for you. I sometimes like to keep it running, but then it's just, it kind of goes a little crazy. This one is old school. This thing was here before I came in. I've been here five years. I'm trying to see if there's a year on here. Really need to find out that year. That's going to keep your count. If you're trying to keep account your beat, your rhythm for your song, so that's kind of cool. That might maybe I need to take that home so Rock can go to sleep and not bother me at night because he can't sleep. All right, that's our metronome, so that's kind of cool. We have I have so many instruments over here. These are my drumsticks. You guys have seen me with these. These are weighted drumsticks so that when we do our drumsticks on the floor, which I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow, so you guys get ready for some drumsticks or your fork or your 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 spoon or your uh pencil i had a pencil i had other kids they told me that they had markers you know awesome you can use anything anything in your house could be actual music instrument may drive everybody crazy i used to do that with my fingers i'd sit there and and just do a little rhythm or or hit on a, a can or you guys when y'all were little i'm sure that you dug in the uh in the pan in the pans in the cabinet and got them out and just start banging the spoons on the on the on the pan Rocco used to do that a lot and then it was just like okay let's go ahead and we'll lock those cabinets because he started getting in them all right so these are our, our drumsticks these are, are weighted so you can use them to use to hit on something like here percussion love our percussion love these handheld instruments so um i'm i'm particular to percussion i've told you guys that i love i love the drums in the band my mom wanted to play the drums in the band but back in the day i don't think they wanted girls to do that you know what now girls are gonna rule the world sorry boys y'all can tag along for the ride i'm kidding boys you guys can rule the world too we'll rule the world together as long as we're doing it together all right, here is our other percussions, our drum. You guys have played this, some of you guys have played this. You know, we have our drums. This is, remember, bass and then the treble. Different sounds. You guys sit there and you spin it like it's a top, okay? Love drums, just love them. Then we've got another handheld where you're going to use a drumstick. This one is cool too. Has little uh, shakers in there when you hit it. Makes it. You could use this stuff if you were doing a movie and you needed a sound effect. I'm not sure what that would sound like. Maybe my car on a bad day or my mower when it's tired. All right. And then we've got a tambourine. You can use that on your hip if you're singing, or you can do it on your hands and you can do a little dance. Put your little cup out there, make some money. I'm kidding. All right, then, oh, you guys know this one. This is my llama bell. What is that from Fortnite? What is that from Fortnite? Come on, tell me, I can hear you. I can hear you telling me. All right, then we've got, oh, uh, this one. I used to mess around, because it was just like I'd walk behind a teacher and I'd say, and they'd be like, whoa. But this is another percussion. If you, that's my favorite part in, in a song, a Christmas song, and it was the Nutcracker. And there's the part where the horse, it Winnie, it just, it goes. Dun, 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 dun. We used to play that when I was playing my bass. They told us that we were too loud, but it's at the end and it does the horse Winnie and then it goes, or maybe this is that, and then the horse Winnie. But either way, this is a cool instrument. I kind of broke it because I played with it so much. You see that? Don't tell Mr. Strickland. Maybe I need to order another one before he realizes it. All right, then we've got this. I don't know why I have this. 
But this is kind of cool. I'm gonna put it on my bicycle when I go down the street. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. All right, and then you guys have played this. You guys have played this one. It's our scraper. This looks pretty old. I'm thinking this was before I was I came to. I like the design. It looks like a fish or a submarine. All right. It's kind of cool. It does the sounds. It makes the sounds come out of here. And you can do it different here, here, here. Or go fast. All right. We always love the bells. Reminds us of Christmas. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. You have how many shopping days left? I'm just kidding. We do have, you know, it does, it does get here faster than that because we are in the month of April. I still haven't changed my calendar, friends. You guys always tell me that. Miss V, you need to change your calendar. So I need to change my calendar. All right. Then we got the maracas. Shaka, shaka. Love the maracas. Another percussion instrument. Man, I just love the instrument. I love percussion. All right. Then we've got, you guys, we've done the boom whackers. We tried, we've seen them on, on the, uh, on, on YouTube. I've shown you some videos. It has different notes. Oh, I just dropped everything. But these are different notes. Like this one is a G and this one is a B and an A and then a C. You guys get these things and you just sit there and you think, oh, but they're not toys. They're actual instruments. They are made out of plastic, which you can even use your um, toilet paper. Well, not the toilet paper, but the paper to towel roll. If you get that totally empty and you hit it, it's going to make a certain tone. So that's going to be your notes. So get your paper towel rolls and make you some instruments. All right, save those. Those are those are some good instruments to make. You could also make a uh, maraca out of it if you just tape it here, put some beans or a paper and then some tape and put some beans or rice in there and tape this side and it'll shake. It could even make you a, a, a rain maker. All right, then we've got our triangle. You guys love the triangle. It's such a sweet instrument to me. Or dinner time. Back in the day, that's how they did it. They called all the ranch hands and said, it is time for dinner. Isn't that cool? So that, that's triangle. You guys, I know, love that one. All right. Then we have our xylophone. This is our xylophone. The cool thing about the xylophone is that on most instruments, they don't have the letters of what note it is. But on the xylophone, it has it on there. So let me see if I can play a little bit of Mary Had a Little Lamb, okay? So I'm gonna have to look at the music notes. Oh, I just lost my music notes. All right, here we go. We ready? Gotta listen. Ah, what do you think about that? Pretty cool. So that way I just look at there. I don't have to look at the notes. I can cheat a little bit and look at the letters. That's what I used to do in elementary school when we had to play the violin. I'd get my music and the notes, you know, the the little notes, the little black dot with the line and, and all that. I used to cheat and I'd write, not cheat really, but I made it, I wrote down the notes of what I had to play. So I was trying to keep up. But you guys, we played this too. So we guys come back, we'll play this. We'll play all the instruments that we have in here. All right, then we have the kazoo. Some of you guys, it's, it's kind of hard to play because it's, it's like you have to hum. It's like, hmm, you don't blow, you don't go. You blow, all you're gonna do is blow air. But this is what you gotta do, you gotta, go, you gotta hum. So I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna play, uh, take me out to the ball game, okay, ready?
So notice I said cubbies in there. If the cubbies don't win, it's a shame. You know, I'm a Cubs fan. You guys all know that it's on my screensaver. All right, so there we go. That's, I have one more. I'm gonna play one more instrument. Oh wait, I didn't even get to bring out my gongs. Hold on, these are my gongs. I got this at a garage sale, dude. Garage sale. Look, you always can find old instruments at a garage sale. How you like that? How you like that? That's pretty cool. I got two of them. This one, this gong was here when I got here and I used to have it on my desk, but kids would come up and say, Miss V. Miss V. So I had to put that up because I was like, whoa. I hear Miss V a lot, so I didn't want to hear the gong afterwards. This one I had on my desk too as well. I thought that I could use this to get you guys quiet. Not so much because it sounds so sweet, but it's fun to play. This was here when I got here too as well. There's some cool instruments in here. All right, all right, let me play one more instrument for you guys before you get away and uh, you come up here and get ready for breakfast with us here at sunset. You pick up your breakfast and your lunch. Today is chicken, chicken, popcorn chicken, not chicken nuggets, popcorn chicken. All right, we are going to play this is a recorder. You guys, when you're in third and fourth grade, you'll get to play that. We haven't got to do that this year because we had to kind of pause. But you guys, when you were in third grade, you played it. Third graders, you'll get to play it as fourth graders. In second grade, you'll get to uh, come up and do that. I'm hoping I'm holding it with the right hand. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play. This is called Hot Cross Buns, which is a funny name, but would be some nice buns right now to eat those if they were hot. All right, here we go. Hot cross buns. I can still do it. Still can play it. All right, guys. That's going to be it for VTV. You guys, thanks for watching. Now I have to clean up all this mess and put all these up. But you know what? You guys are worth it. I wish that we had more time and you guys were here with us. But you know what? You're always in our thoughts and you always are missed. You guys, don't forget, keep in contact with your teachers. Second grade, I have to give you a shout out because I'm on y'all's Google Classroom and man. You stress me out with all the work that you guys are doing. You guys are working hard. I see you guys out there, Haley, Prosper, Alexis. I see you guys putting your work in there and you're, and you're sending it, Yared, you guys. And thanks for your marshmallow pictures. Those are awesome. I'm gonna try and put those on and, and put them on a slide so that I can share them with everybody. Okay, so keep sending them and keep working on them, all right? You guys have a good day and we will see you next time on VTV.